Hello there, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Now, I'm on this website called Design AI. And just as a disclaimer, if you're seeing this as a familiar website or familiar user interface, because you got it right. This was formerly known as Tylerize or Styler AI. Styler AI, I have a few videos about that one. I have, I think, a beginner tutorial, some tips and tricks, and advanced features inside Stylerize. So please check them out. Right now, they have changed their company or their website to Design Beta, and there are some few awesome tools here that I want to share with you guys. Because on this video, we're going to tackle AI Vectorizer from Design AI, new AI image to vector. Now, before we get started on that specifically, I just want to let you know that I'm utilizing right now a free trial plan. That means I don't have the full subscription promo because I just want to show you guys how to work this one as the general audience. Now, if you want to, I can make another video regarding the paid subscription and let's just talk about that one in the next video. But for now, let's focus on the general audience on creating a free trial plan tutorial video. Now, before we get started, also, let's check on the pricing. Now, this is going to be the prices for annually. And if you notice, almost annually, you're going to save up to 20% off. Monthly, you're going to save at least 50% off for the first month. So take note, those are the perks. You have watermark removal. You have commercial use. You have so much more to work with here. And for the professional, you have the SVG export. Take note, the export of GSG is for paid subscription. All right. Now let's go back on the Blaine landing page. Perfect. Now, once you're here, first thing I want to notice is this one. This one's right here on my previous project in Stylerize. Now I can open them, no problem at all if I have the paid subscription. As you can see right here, this projects right here are the ones I've made before when it was still called Stylerize. Now this is for paid subscription if you still want to unlock the project. Now let's get started. Click on new project right there. Now it's going to be loading. Choose a aspect ratio. For me, I think I'm going to go for 16 by 9, the most famous one, and name this one tutorial box sample. Click on apply. And I think I'm good to go here. Next up, let's discuss about the user interface here. You're going to have three tokens that refreshes if the balance is below 30. That was going to be a 24 hours or a daily refresh. Zoom options are going to be right here. So you're going to have a better look on your project. Right sides are going to be the results and layers. We're going to talk about this one after we generate a photo. Now on the upper section, we have hand grip. Hand grip is just like pan. If you have Photoshop, if you're familiar with Canva, pan is going to be hand grip. Text is just inserting text there. And brush, I have a video about the brush here. It's really awesome. So please check it out. That was still on the Stylerize. But still, we're going to utilize this one on this video. So I have enabled the text since I have using a text feature earlier. Now, on the left side also, you have upload. Basically, upload the photo to work with. That is a reference photo. Text to image is basically the name itself. You can create an image via text. Image to image is basically having a reference photo to create a photo. Local edit. This is going to be via the brush method that I have installed earlier or before in the previous videos. You're going to have an option for brush, auto, and union right there. And so on and so forth. And the newest features here are going to face swap and face repair. Also, I want to show you something very quickly here. Under text to image, of course, you can choose a design. I'm going to go American Story. And I'm just going to simply type in a skull logo for bikers. Now, this is going to be my simple prompt, right? And then the style intensity here is basically the difference of how much you want to refer to your prompt or your difference. The sweet spot is 0.6 for the advanced feature. Just enable some negative prompt, but for now, I'm going to leave it as it is. And on the right side, if you click on generate, it's currently being generated. You have results page. Now, it will ask you if you want to skip the queue, upgrade to the uh, paid plan. But for now, as promised, we're going to utilize the free plan. So all of you guys can relate. And if you can check here if you want to pay for the paid plan, right? Now for the layers right here, I'm going to teach you this one once our image is done generating. I'll get back to you once it's here. Now, welcome back to the video. Right now, this is what I mean by text and results. So we have layers here. Let me just enable one first. So let's choose one for our artwork. I think I'm going to go with this awesome skull video or skull vector right here. Now, first, if you double click, it will go to the Canva. And if you're choosing layers now, 
you're gonna have that layer since i have a text layer right there if i select on enable right here it's still gonna be there right now i'm gonna teach you how it works if i place it right here for example tutorial box i'm something like that let me lower the font change the color to black or make it more visible for blue place it right here sorry about that place this one right there and now how layer works is going to be this one concerning with that if we remove this i have one layer only now let's focus now on the image itself now these are the very new features in design before in stylerize they don't have this so first foremost is remove object you can circle around an object that you want to remove for example with that being said i can simply remove that one and now it's currently being submitted while waiting you can also remove your background if i remove your background here it's currently being removing as of now let's wait for it to finish i'll get back to you once it's here so welcome back to the video with this one first you'll notice the background has been removed because originally it should look like this right and right now it should be looking like this in the remove object option, you can change the object itself, as you can see. I can make it gold, green, or a little bit more dirty white. But for now, I think I'm going to go for gold. Perfect. And with that being said, I miss my background. I'm going to go for my old background right there. Apply the gold again, so I have a new background with a gold skull forehead. Next up, we have select option here. You can lasso anyone you want there, for example. I can lasso that one. I can edit, remove, insert, duplicate, or delete. Basically, that's it. You can also invert them, and so on and so forth. We have the crop option. Basically, you can, as the name is itself, you can crop the image as it is. Now, that being said, there is one more option here. Let me just remove this one. Perfect. So, there is an SVG option. The best and newest feature in design. Again, this was not available before in Stylerize, so if I click on this one, this image right here will be vectorized, and that's the main topic here. Now, take note I am a free trial user, so if I click on this one, SVG export is for pay subscription. With that being said, I have a what it looks like should be with this one. So if you click on SVG, you should be looking like this. Just choose which one you want if you want stacked shapes on top of each other, and you want the tolerance to be fine, or group or no group. Now, if you select on Vectorize, you're going to have a new image and you can download them by simply clicking on the download button right there. You can save as image or share with your friends and families. Now, let's have an example of how to edit a vector photo. Now, welcome back to the video. Now, the most famous application to edit your vector photo is going to be Adobe Photoshop or Illustrator or Adobe. But for now, since I don't have Adobe, I'm going to use a Canva. And I'm sure you have Canva on your end, because I'm making this videos for you guys to relate as a general audience. Let's make a much more advanced videos for the next one for the page description of design and an Adobe Illustrator. But for now, let's stick with Canva and with this, simply upload your Canva photo or the photo in Canva. And basically, you can edit it however you edit your all of your images. For example, you want a background remove right here, the grab text. We can also add some drawings here, but these are just basics. Again, this is just a Canva. If you want more advanced editing features, that will be an Adobe. But I'm just showing you how it works here. Upload your vectorized image in any application and do so as you see fit. For example, I can add elements here now. For example, that right there. A little heart for my skull body. Hide the watermark right here so it won't look like watermark. And now, I can download this one as a new photo. Or even a vector photo. Easy as that. Now these are just the tips and tricks for you. The limit here would be your imagination. Again guys, this is a very new application. Let's go back on the AI. This one right here is a very new AI. Before it was stylized and right now it's going to be designed. So this is going to be a very awesome tool. So please check it out. Now that being said, thank you so much for watching. And please hit the like button subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Goodbye for now.